Hey everyone, it's Sherry. I've had quite a few comments asking me how that brother machine does with sewing thick stuff. So I figured I would take a few minutes and show you guys. Stay tuned and see, this thing will sew through everything, I think. Okay, we're gonna start with sewing something simple. Now I have threaded in here, just plain old regular thread. I haven't changed my needle. I've sewed quite a bit. Um, so it's not like I have a new needle and we're just gonna see how this does. I do have that adjustable foot that pivots on the front and the back and we'll just do, here's just two layers of a quilt cotton. All right, there we go. Easy peasy, not a problem. Sewing with some gray thread. Looks great, fabulous. I have my stitch length at around three. That was about a two and a half, but that's looking pretty good. Now let's go ahead and do two layers of Otter Tex waterproof canvas. You know what, I'll just fold this one over. And you can see this is pretty thick. All right. And this does have a thread cutter. I'm just not using it right now. But you can see, perfect. Now let's do some vinyl. And this is marine grade vinyl. I'll do two layers of that. Again, it sews beautifully. But I know you're thinking that's just normal two layers. How far can we push this? Well, I have some Decaville light and I have some cork. So let's see what it's like sewing with a layer of cork, a layer of Decaville light. And let's do a little bit of waterproof canvas. Like butter. Looks fabulous. No skipped stitches. I wonder how far I can push this. So let's try, do I dare do it? Let's try to do that sandwich. Let's double it. So now that's two layers, trim these threads, two layers of cork, two layers of waterproof canvas, two layers of Decoville light. Let's see what that does. So I'm gonna make my little sandwich here. We'll do it this way. Here's my nice little sandwich and it's pretty thick. That's probably about a quarter inch thickness. Again, not a new needle. It's going over it. really not having any issues. I'm going slow just because I know I don't have that much space to do. No, no skipped stitches. So let's do vinyl Decoville light. Um, let's throw in some waterproof canvas. And why not? Let's go ahead and we'll just add an extra layer. So now I have two layers, three layers of waterproof, 
two layers of waterproof canvas, a layer of Decoville light, and three layers of vinyl. I mean, that's, that's pretty hefty. Let's see. And this does raise up. So I, you can see, I still have room in there for more. I'm not going to probably do much more. And this poor little needle, I think this needle is a, probably about had it. Let's see. I see my first skip stitch. So right there, you can see, I have a skipped stitch, which I'm not surprised. This is an awfully thick layer of, of stuff I just sewed through. Here we go. So here's our vinyl, and here's some Sally Tomato cork. I'm gonna make a little sandwich. So two layers of cork, a layer of vinyl, and a layer of Decoville light. And this needle, I hate to say it, but this needle has probably sewed two or three bags and it hasn't been changed. So that could also be an issue. Perfect. No skip stitches on either side. So that's pretty thick. Let's do, hmm. Here's my two layers of canvas, or two layers of vinyl. And we're gonna sandwich those with two layers of regular quilt cotton. This one might be a little hard for you guys to see because I'm using gray thread. Perfect. No skip stitches. So what do you guys sew? There you are. I just was playing around on the fly with a couple different things, a couple different layers and thicknesses. I only really had a problem when I got super thick and I don't think many people would sew things that thick. Plus I think my needle may have something to do with that skip stitch because it was just one skip stitch. So what do you think? You let me know what you would like to see me try to sew through and I'll try to do it for you. Again, I love this machine. It's the Brother SQ, oops, PQ 1500SL. Thanks again.